How you doing everybody, hope you're having a great day. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the boosted gear from High School DHD. So before we begin, I'd like to tell you guys that you might have noticed that I try to release a video once a week. That might change to becoming uh, once every two weeks as it'll give me time to deal with my school things. So I hope you understand and now let's continue on with the video. The boosted gear is a sacred gear that was created by the God of the Bible and is classified as being a long Longinus and it has the power to harm or kill the god. It has the appearance of a red metallic gauntlet with a almost fish shaped green jewel and it also has two golden spikes at the end. The size of the gauntlet varies from one possessor to the other but it will cover their fingers all the way to their elbows. Like all these sacred gears, its possessor is born with it and the possessor has to be human or half human. Being a mid-tier longinus, it is not the strongest among them but it has the potential to be one, as seen by Issei, the current wielder, who defeated Sanson, the possessor of the strongest Longinus, the true Longinus. If you want to learn more about Sanson, I've already done a video about him, and the link to that video will be in the description below. Drake, the red dragon emperor and one of the two heavenly dragons, is sealed within the boosted gear, and with time and practice, the wielder of the boosted gear will be able to use all the abilities Drake had when he had his body. Since the boosted gear possessors are able to use the ability and powers of Drake, they are also called the Red Dragon Emperor. Drake helps in the management of the sacred gear by trying to control the power output and taking in the strain from different power ups as they are harder to control. There is another sacred gear which is the opposite of the boosted gear and it is known as Divine Dividing which also has Albion, the White Dragon Emperor and one of the two heavenly dragons sealed in it. This is fitting as Albion and Drake were rivals before they were sealed and are still rivals to this day. This is all I'm gonna say about the Divine Dividing as I'm going to be talking about it in a future video. In Volume 9, we get to see fragments of the previous possessor's consciousness in the sacred gear and it is revealed that when a possessor of the boosted gear dies, a piece of them is stored within the sacred gear. Let's look at the possessors of the boosted gear that have been revealed so far. Blizzard known as the strongest boosted gear possessor and is known for defeating two of the divine dividing possessors in his lifetime. Next we have Elsha who is also known as the strongest female possessor. And then we have Issei Yudo known as the Opai dragon and he is the current possessor of the sacred gear and is also considered to be one of the strongest possessors of the boosted gear. We might not get to know more about the previous possessors of the boosted gear as they all sacrificed themselves to save Issei's soul when he receives the Samael's curse in Volume 12. Now let's get to see some of the powers and abilities that the boosted gear grants its users. Normally the boosted gear would double its wielder's power every 10 seconds but we have seen that this can be altered by the wielder after some practice. It can also transfer the increased power to other people or items and this ability is known as gift. It also gives the possessor the ability to penetrate which allows the user to hit their target even if there is a powerful barrier between them. The sacred gear's balance breaker is known as the scale mail armor which covers the possessor's body with strong armor and it also gives them wings. The possessor can also choose to partially transform themselves if they want. In volume 4, when Issei inserts the jewel of the divine dividing into the boosted gear, he gains the ability to divide which lets the wielder divide an opponent's power by half and adding the other half to its own power every 10 seconds but like the first ability, this can be altered by the user. It also has the ability to store objects or items within it as seen when Issei stored the Holy Sword Ascalon in it in Volume 4. The boosted gear can go into a power-up known as the Juggernaut Drive which greatly enhances the user's power with the cost of their sanity and life. A weakness to the boosted gear is that it makes its wielders vulnerable to dragon slayers or magic or items which can harm dragons. Another weakness is that using the boosted gear is quite strenuous and it drains stamina fast. Euclid Lucifuge, the brother of Drafia Lucifuge, made a replica version of the boosted gear by collecting data from Issei's previous body which was left in the dimensional gap which could use boost and scale mail armor but it did not have drag and it was considered a replica and its potential was weaker than that of the original. 
Most of the previous possessors of the boosted gear have died after using the juggernaut drive. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please like and subscribe for more content and comment down below on what videos you'd like to see me do next.